Hi, this is Brian with Profitless Media and Post. Today is going to be a quick tip tutorial on some keyboard shortcuts while you're masking inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So here we have a mask. I'm going to select all these points. And the first one we'll talk about is rotation. So the keyboard shortcut is T. And holding down T, wherever we click will be the pivot point of the rotation. So if I click here on the chin, you can see we can rotate from there. Or if I click on the top of the head, you can rotate from there. And you can even rotate from an area away from the mask. So say I wanted to rotate from here, you can see once I click on that little moose head, it will rotate from that point. This also works with just a certain selection. So if I just select, just say the front of the hood here, holding down T and I click here, you can see I can rotate from that point or I can come down here and then so you can constantly move the pivot point around, which can really help making your mask more accurate and also help speed up your rotoscoping. So let's select all the points again. Another thing is the scale. So the same thing applies, holding down the keyboard shortcut S. Wherever you click is where you scale from. So if I go from the chin, you can see I can go up and down. And then I can move over here and move the pivot point to the top of the head. So very useful. Another thing with scaling is you can scale in just X or just Y. So holding down X, if I click here, you can see I'm only scaling in X. Same thing with Y. So holding down Y, just grab the by the chin, you can see I'm only scaling in Y. So the last keyboard shortcut I want to talk about is uh, the letter O. And if you hold down O, no matter where you click, it will scale the mask based on the center of the mask. So even if I click over here, you can see that this mask scales from the center of the entire mask. So those are just a few keyboard shortcuts that I like to use when I'm doing my masking or rotoscoping inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you again in the next one.